Hello survivors, welcome back to another video. How are you today guys? Let me know in the comments. Today guys, we have new hero. We have Chloe. Chloe is a new resonating hero. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, well, it's just basically like the Joker, like Mikoto, like Daryl, and like, um, where is the other one? There was another one, Daryl Mikoto, the Joker, and wow, I forgot the other one, where is Waco? Uh, yeah, so now you have a new one, and of course, now you are just getting screwed, like from all sides, because before, one more time, was just like, okay, just three heroes every three months, now it's just three heroes, a helicopter, and a resonating hero. Now they are releasing a resonating hero every time they are releasing a new generation hero and that's an extra cost for those spenders. But the question is, because I have got this question a lot today, Mike, should I get Chloe? Should I get her? Is she good? She's good and you don't have to lose your mind one more time. Remember, she's good if you are completely maxed. If you have your heroes max, if you have your gear max, your chief gear, your hero gear, if you have a very good like high level like aircraft and helicopter and you are on the top of the game, it is worth it to get her? Of course it is worth it because that's going to give you the extra age. That's going to give you the extra mile to be able to beat those top spenders as well. But if you haven't even maxed your gear, you are like a two pieces of red gear, you haven't even matched your budget, you haven't even maxed the new heroes, you are in an older generation because you didn't, you couldn't even max the older generation. Is it worth it to get her? And especially to get her if you are not even gonna max her because remember, when you get these resonating heroes, you have to max them as well. You have to increase the resonance level. So did level, I think they have like six levels or so. So you will have to spend money as you spend with the new heroes. So if you are thinking about, well, I'm not gonna max the new heroes, I'm gonna max her. And you haven't even got like good heroes, good aircraft, good gear. It is not worth it, guys. One more time, I just made a video about this. This is just for a spender, basically, this video of these heroes. Because if you, as a free-to-play player, low spender is telling me like, oh, you're gonna get Chloe? and you think that you are going to make a big difference in your game, you are just losing your mind and you don't even know what you are playing because if you are resonating here with a uh, like purple hero, it's just a waste of time and money. Uh, this, nothing is going to change, to be honest. And if you are resonating here with a like, legendary hero, but her resonance level is level 2, level two, 1, it is not going to help you at all. You actually going to be weaker resonating here with another hero if you don't have her like a, in a super good resonant heroes. So please don't lose your mind, especially low spenders, free to play players for this hero. And for my spenders, if you are a Michari, you are like a, a Waco, you are a, a George, you are one of these top like spenders and all your heroes are general, you have your gear, you have your aircraft and stuff. It is worth it to get her? Of course it is worth it. It is gonna give you the extra age. If you wanna spend money, of course. If you are one of those like, well, king groups is screwing us, it's just releasing heroes, they just wanna make us like go bankrupt, blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't buy her, you know? Nobody's forcing you to be honest, but of course you have this video game addiction, I understand, so you will get her anyways. But if you are like a little bit more conscious and you really want to think about should I just invest on hair or my other stuff like gear and stuff invest on gear invest on gears on the new heroes and that's gonna give you better advantage than Chloe especially because one more time you are investing in things that are gonna be permanent this hero is just gonna get trashed like the heroes that they're gonna be they're gonna they have been releasing for a while and after a few months they are not as strong as before now that's the Chloe things. The video today is just about heroes. Now, the other thing is like they're telling me all the time in the comments, well, it is not even worth it to invest in the new heroes. They are crap, they are skills, blah, blah, blah. Guys, if you go back to the YouTube videos from the people saying this, if you go back to the Discord channels from the people saying this, it's always the same thing. 
well, you know, Emma and Ellie is not good investment, blah, blah, blah. You are going to wait for the next generation. Now, bring the skills, you know. They was not Cardini super bad. And guys, Magnus, like, he's good. And then, oh no, Hank, you know, Hank now is his favorite. Like, wow, Hank, you should have Max Hank because he was super good. Man, Hank was good because he was in the race place. So it was super easy to max. Uh, if you have the bio cap to maxing, of course you should have done that. But in terms of like the new heroes, skills, blah, 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 a state of survival doesn't play with those things like skills, like new heroes that older. It's very, 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 very unlikely like older heroes are gonna be better than new heroes, especially when the difference in stats is that big that you can use from time to time because you have to remember guys, a stake of survival do this so that you get all messed up and then if you didn't buy, for example, the fragments for the new heroes, then you go back and buy the fragments for the new hero because they are trying to make you believe that the older heroes are better. But when everybody's going to the back heroes and then the spenders are spending money in the new heroes, they are just gonna change the battle mechanism or they are just gonna nerf the other heroes and make the new ones stronger like they did with Hank, like they did with Daryl, like they did with Waco. So they are always doing this, guys. And you still don't realize that you're playing the game of a company designed to make money. So you are thinking like, oh, the skills of the new hero, they're super bad. And then, of course, they might be now, so you rush to get the fragments for the other ones, the low spenders, medium spenders, they rush to get the fragments for the old ones. They get like a one, two matches when they are like, uh, they are a little bit stronger because they actually like max or increase the rank of the older heroes. Then they nerf them down and then the new heroes just continue to be stronger. And then of course you spend on the new heroes and then you also spend on the old heroes and boom, a state of survival end up winning the game as always. So they say this about this one. I remember when Wolfie was coming out. When was Wolfie? Do I have Wolfie? Mm, yeah. Oh, he's super good. We should get him, blah, blah, blah. Try to rally with Wolfie now and let me know if you win a rally. No, it's not going to happen. Or when, when Roxy, wow, her skills, she's super nice, you should use her for defense, blah, blah, blah. Try to call a rally with Roxy and let me know if you win against one of these like, new heroes. Or when they were like, they were like with like Julia, Julia is super good, she's a good rider, you should get her, blah, blah, blah. Now she's just forgetting, nobody talks about her. Like when the next generation comes out, nobody's gonna talk about Hank, nobody's gonna talk about the new one. When Tina came out, oh, Tina's super good, blah, blah, blah. It's every time, from time to time, there is a super good hero, and new generations end up beating them all the time. In the first release, they try to trick you, like you, you can still find a way to trick the system, like no, because I have Hank, and Hank is just stronger than the new generation, so, Hank is super good, blah, blah, blah. Wait two more months and you're not gonna talk about Hank anymore because they are gonna even nerf him down more than it was before, like it did with before, like Derek, like they did with Derek as well. And then the new heroes are gonna be stronger. And then you just went back to spend on all the heroes and now you will have to spend in new heroes because you're gonna realize that it was a bad idea. So guys, new heroes are always going to be better than older heroes for the most of the time that you are playing they might trick you in the first month like oh they are not that good the skills blah 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 and then from time to time you play a capital like for example this capital now when we were attacking people and they were defending with like for example roxy this one and nicola and everybody was like, wow, you know, they are super strong, blah, blah, blah. They from time to time do that. And why they do that? So that you go back and you spend money on those older heroes. Because remember, there are people who just forgot about those heroes. But if they try to release or change the battle system sometime to make you believe that you have to spend on the older ones. So you end up spending double on the older ones and the new ones. And they do this on purpose because, guys, I join, you know, and I see other players playing in these alliances, blah, blah, blah. And when they are in the game, like playing the capital, they forgot about upgrading when, they're, and when there is an event going on to get points. They forgot about like saving materials. 
if there are no winning rallies, they go bananas. If they see the opposite team, like, oh, it has more stats on the aircraft, they just go buy a bunch of bundles, increase the aircraft. Okay, let's try again. Oh no, the aircraft is not it, it's Roxy. They have Roxy Max. I need a Max Roxy, so I'm gonna buy to buy purple, so to use my old fragments to upgrade Roxy, the upgrade Roxy, and you see that they go crazy just to win the capital. So they actually change all this all the time during the capital. You see that during the capital, so this capital was like Roxy, this one and this one. Then there was an, a capital when Luca, for example, this was like a super strong hero was defending all the attacks. And then there was another one when Magnus was super good. And then I remember that there was another one when, when was the, the other like Asian girl? When this one, Candy was super good as well. And, and yeah, guys, it's just changing all the time and you just end up falling into the trap. So yeah, those are my two cents on the hero stuff. If you wanna just dish the new heroes, do it. I don't mind. I'm not getting money for that. But if you are like weak, for example, and you didn't prioritize the last generation like me, I recommend you to go for the new ones. And then don't go all out, don't go bananas. You use the right fragments and then you are going to realize that you are going to get stronger. For example, here, I just used like a few fragments and this is already my strongest hero. So yeah, and then I don't need to keep spending on this one. I can just keep saving bio caps and then invest in the new heroes since they are like quote unquote better than the old ones. So yeah, play smart guys and don't don't let the, the king, groups, king groups confuse you about the, the heroes and stuff. So I hope you enjoy. See you next time.